Hey YouTubers, hey man, I got a response from uh, my last video. Uh, still with CRST, and hey, uh, you know, uh, the guy's name was, uh, I can't remember at the time, but uh, uh, I think it was Jeff or something like that, but I'm not going to say his last name, because uh, I can't remember his one, but uh, I can't remember his first name, and I apologize for that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, the pay the pay um, is is small when you first start out, but you know what? Um, it uh, it all works out because uh, because uh, you know uh, when when you come to CRST, if, if you come to CRST now, if you already got your CDL, um, cool. Uh, that's more than merit, you know. Uh, try and find uh, a private company that you get your, you know, get your CDL. Uh, in there. If you uh, come to CRSD, then you'll be under contract, uh, and that kind of changes things a little bit. So, but I already have my CDL on the on. So, uh, go to, you know, try and go to a, a school or something, you know, an outside school, and get your CDL. And then come on to CRST or Swift or whoever you want to go to. Now, when you come on to CRST or any company, you're most likely going to get an owner operator trainer. Which, you know, is good in a way and not good in a way. You know, uh, it's good in a way because they're going to run. They're going to run hard because they got paid for a truck. You know? So, if you get, uh, you get that, uh, like mine was an owner op. And we ran, we ran good. And I was making uh, between eight, eight hundred, and uh, hang on, a old couple driving truck, can't believe it. Um, anyway, uh, uh, we, I I was making um, between six to a thousand bucks a week with that. With that uh, owner off, and uh, uh, you know, when I got off the truck and I got my own truck, and I was only making, um, I'd say about uh, eight hundred a week. Um, so you know, um, you can make between five to eight hundred a week. Because I, 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 when I went over for home time, uh, I brought home 800 bucks. So, you know, that's not, uh, that's not too bad. You know, it really is. Um, so you can, you know, it all depends on how you run. You know, uh, you know, it, it just all depends on you. You know how you run. I got a good driving manager, so you know, it's just my luck right now. Me sitting is because. Uh, my first co-driver I had, he uh, had a bail because he uh, got his house broken so while uh, he was out on the road with me. And uh, so now he's got to stay home and, and uh, take care of all of it. You know? and, uh, so uh, the second co-driver, uh, he didn't want to wait, you know, wait time for being unloaded and all that. So, um... Yeah, you know, that's, that's what happens, you know, it's, it's trucking, that's, that's what happens, you know. So, um, now, if you come on with CRST, uh, and you go through your training and all that, they're, they're going to uh, give you a list, uh, they're going to put you on a list, and people are going to be calling you left and right. Hey, you looking for a co-driver, you know, all this, now. Uh, unless one comes up to you in orientation, or you find one in orientation, and you do that. So, um, you know, I, I just got lucky, and the one I had, the first one I had, came up to me in orientation and wanted to drive with me. Because I, you know, I had the experience, I know, I know, uh, when I, somewhat of what I'm doing. You know, and I'm still a green horn. You know. I got almost a year uh, experience, but I'm still, I'm still a green horn. Either way you look at it. So.
you know so anyway um, you know just uh, good luck with whatever company you go with uh, the pay is going to really depend on you um, and, and your driver manager if you get along well with your driver manager and you get the miles yeah you'll be pulling in some good cash you know like I said when I went over home time last uh, last time uh, which was uh, I think it was last week um, I brought home 800 bucks 850 bucks something like that uh, pretty close to nine, but 800 bucks, and uh, I, I was happy with that, you know, uh, because that's more than I made with any other company, you know, taking over for, for home. So, uh, I was happy with that. So anyway, um, uh, go ahead and um, uh, you know do what you can. Uh, still look at CRST, you know, don't don't. Um, don't put them out all together, you know, give them a try, you know, uh, but if you already got the CSL, yeah, cool, if you don't, uh, try and find an outside vendor and, and get your CDL, you know, or go ahead and go with CRST, you know, they'll get you your CDL, and then they'll put you right into, uh, on the table, um, I don't know where you live, but, uh, I live in, in Redding, California, so, my orientation was in Montana, California, and uh, uh, they put you up in a hotel, in a nice hotel there. Um, now I heard that uh, Cedar Rapids, uh, which I've been there, to the Cedar Rapids Iowa Terminal, and uh, you know they look pretty nice around there. I mean, everything looked pretty nice, you know. But uh, I don't know how the bunking arrangements go. But I see where they bunk everybody, and uh, it looked pretty nice to me. I didn't. I don't know what everybody's bitching about, but, you know, um, you know, they're good people. They, they try and treat you right. They try and treat you right. You know, they, they, they do the best they can for you, you know. Like I was telling my co my, um, driving manager, I was ready to jump ship, you know, because I lost these two and some other stuff happened, and, and my co-driver says, no, man, you're a good driver, you know, you, you've invested your butt for me, you, you, uh, you know, you're doing good out there, and I, I need you on my team. And, uh, you know, he says, hey, my phone is open, you know, uh, anytime you need it. Uh, but he didn't give me a cell phone, you know, he didn't his work phone. And I said, yeah, it's open until you're, until you're there, you know, uh, until you go home. And he goes, yeah, yeah, but he goes, it's, it's, it's open. You know? So, He's a, he's a good co-driver, you know. If you get one that gives you a cell phone number, then that's real good. Uh, but don't abuse it, though. If they, if they do that, don't abuse that cell phone. Don't. Because then, you know, it just gets up. And, and I, you know, with me, I prefer not to have my, my, uh, drive managers, you know, home or cell number because, you know, when they're, when they're off work, then they want to be away from work. They want to separate the personal from the business, and I can understand that. It's like when I go home for home time, that's what I want to do. But here's a little tip for you guys: uh, when you're on it, when you get your truck, you know, you first get your truck, you make sure they give you a book with your truck, uh, not the owner's manual. Well, you'll get that too. But uh, the other book, which is called a permit book, make sure all your permits are up to date. Now, usually with these with these companies like CRST, um, and I know. Uh, I think Swift does it too. When you get your book, you're not going to have an Oregon uh, permit in there because they Oregon, I guess, I don't know, they charge uh, right then or so. I, I, I can't remember how to do it. But, um, you got to call and get that permit when you're going through Oregon. When you're about to go through Oregon, you call the 800 number and they fax you a permit and you put it in your book and you're good to go. You know, instead of having this shop open the permit office just before you get in there, you did. So, anyway, um, you know, just uh, make sure your permit book is all up to date. Uh, if it's winter time, make sure you got chains. Uh, now, if you're with Covenant, you're going to have chains, but they won't have you driving the snow. They have chains on the truck so they can get through the states that they have to get through. Because it's a uh, chain law in every state. So, uh, anyway, 
Uh, Gotcha fun. Peace.